Hi friends, my name is Umkar Jagdai and I'm coming at you from Detroit, Michigan. And today I'm going to talk to you about civil engineering opportunities for men and women. Um, I'm gonna go into a little bit details about how opportunities differentiate between men and women, um, how you can leverage some of these opportunities and uh, get ahead in your career. So before we get started, I would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up to the video. It allows me to reach out to more people just like you. So thank you very much and let's get started. So I'm sure you know um, a lot of you must have questions like you know how do the opportunities differ for men and women and I totally understand that. Um, I had questions like that. I am sure some of the female uh, viewers here will have questions like that because I got kind of got some questions in the comment section in my last video that um, is it how are the opportunities as women um, what kind of opportunities will I have when I'm studying in US or when I graduate with my master's program so here's what I have to say for you okay so <clears throat> let's look at the master's program itself you know so if you're doing your master's and the opportunities you have as it's either as a man or a woman you know um, so you have few opportunities first of all like graduate assistantships the GAs the research assistantships the RAs and teachers assistantships so from what I've seen you know uh, and what I've known generally especially in US in the universities men and women have equal opportunities to get these jobs and you should be able to secure a job regardless of your gender so I think you have a pretty good chance an equal chance in my opinion for you to get job in those fields so that's for the master's program let's look into a little bit about what happens once you graduate so um, as most of you know you know I've even discussed before I in my, the way I look at civil engineering industry is it's kind of separated into two fields the design field and the construction aspect the design is where you are really in the office most of the time um, rarely you're going out into the field and your your primary work is based on design and uh, so basically you're using softwares you're using um, other techniques to solve problems and design different stuff so if you look at that kind of field uh, in my opinion those kind of field include like uh, structures transportation water resources highway engineering a uh, little bit of geotechnical and geotechnical uh, you may have to go in the field and do some testing and that's a little bit different I'll talk that about that a little bit more um, but usually in design fields what I have seen is as a man or a woman there's equal opportunity um, as a matter of fact you know it's very surprising that um, at my own company there are a lot of women who are leading these positions these different fields um, for example structures transportation uh, we have um, traffic department there are a lot of females who are on leadership roles who are leading this so I totally feel that it's totally an equal opportunity especially at least in my company you know and like the environments I have grown up in and worked in so I feel there's really equal opportunity as a matter of fact until last year um, we had a lady um, a woman who lead led our engineering department for the state of Michigan so that was really cool to know um, she eventually moved on to another position which kind of changed things in my company but still I feel that you have a definitely you know an equal opportunity if you are in the design field now let's talk about a little bit about construction field okay working on the site working in inspection and how that changes now <clears throat> from my experience I worked in the construction inspection industry for a year and I saw that there were much more men in that field than women now necessarily that was not because they were not hiring women but that was because more you know women were not actually applying for that kind of jobs um, we had few women actually who are also inspectors um, who were also working but that's what they really wanted to do and they enjoyed it but in general we didn't had a lot of applications coming in for women construction inspectors or women working in the site as a matter of fact so 
maybe you may think that the numbers are a little bit skewed there but because it's a field work people are working at nights people are working at different timings uh, maybe more labor incentive intensive and physical work so may more men are kind of applying for those kind of jobs so maybe there's a little bit bias bird there but that's not because you know the companies are not hiring or something like that um, from my understanding I don't think that uh, but that's because low female applicants in that job kind of like areas so um, going back to geotechnical so geotechnical is a very interesting field now there is also design involved and then you also have to go in the site and test soil test ground and do different tests so it's kind of an interesting field where you are also like working in office and going into the field now <clears throat> from the companies I have worked at and like the experience I have um, there are a lot of women who are working in this field and from my opinion I feel it's an equal opportunity for men and women if you're interested in site work and you enjoy that um, you should definitely look into it <clears throat> regardless of your gender now what else um, so I'm gonna talk about income also <clears throat> because I'm sure like some of you may have questions that how are men paid different than women uh, <clears throat> and now so I'm gonna give you a personal opinion on this like a personal take uh, from what I have found out like the kind of salaries <clears throat> women get and men get after they graduate uh, especially in civil industry obviously so here's what I found out like so I had a friend of mine who graduated from water resources and she got a job in a big company and she was making about 65k as her first job now that's really good income and most of my friends who graduated um, from like transportation or construction management and these fields they were making about 60 55 to 60 thousand dollars another friend of mine she got a job in my own company and she was making about 75 her starting pay um, that was amazing um, and that was right off masters and I feel like that's really good income uh, even for men it's the same income uh, it, regardless of your gender you know it was same income at least in my company now I've worked in a smaller company also and it was an architectural based company uh, it was led by two female owners and there are also two male owners uh, it was a joint company where there are four to five owners in that company um, and so my experience there was actually it was more um, women were more in control there because um, just the way it was operated and it was a phenomenal environment um, this is just because they are in control or it, it doesn't affect your work it doesn't affect how the company is operated but it was really good to work there because it was there were equal amount of men, men and women uh, in the office um, it was a little bit architecture more women dominated field at least at my office what I saw so it was a nice change for me to work in an environment where um, especially in the civil industry where it's more male dominated but that's I feel because more men are actually interested in this field as of now than women um, and also like this knowledge that it's an equal field and like you know more women uh, will get the equal opportunity will definitely encourage a lot of women to get into this field and do their masters and kind of like seek out these opportunities because there is a need for women in STEM in my opinion so um, last thing and uh, you know it's, it's personal opinion again <clears throat> this is what I think you know it just because it's construction industry and you have seen a lot of men in this industry or a lot of uh, different people that doesn't that shouldn't stop you from applying from these fields because um, at least from so far what I've seen um, in America especially with the companies there is a very interesting law that they have to have uh, a certain number of women in the company and certain number of minorities or certain number of different um, ethnic groups in the company um, not exactly that but understand the you know like the baseline here like so they have to hire enough minorities and women in the company so that they meet these quotas set by the government and I feel that is a great opportunity that is a great way to look at things I feel and you can leverage this for your growth uh, so if you're from minority you're a woman or um, a men from minority 
I feel you have a good opportunity to get into this industry because there is certain quotas developed for you and I think that is phenomenal because that encourages more people to get into industry, more people to get into civil engineering and claim those jobs, those opportunities which may be going to some other people right now or may not be going to anybody because as a matter of fact in at least from what I have seen that we need more civil engineers there is lack of civil engineers it's hard for us to find good civil engineers sometimes we we'll post a job opening and then um, through months and months we'll have only a few application applicants and they may not be the candidates we are looking for so I feel that um, we do have need for civil engineers construction engineers construction managers structures engineers so there is much more need and there's a lot more growth happening with a lot of infrastructure money being put into this so I feel you should definitely look into this field uh, from my personal opinion it's a great field to be uh, regardless if you're a man or a woman and there's equal opportunity for you I think that's what pretty much I had for you today if you have any questions uh, please put it in the comment section uh, if you have a difference of opinion from me and you're working in US maybe you can put it in the comments so maybe we can discuss about it I'll get a chance to learn your perspective also uh, if you have any questions which you want me to answer directly on a personal level you can always contact me at my Instagram at Omkar A. Jagdare. Uh, that's my Instagram handle but um, otherwise I had great time talking to you if you have any questions any uh, topics you would like me to discuss please put it in the comment section but then I had great time talking to you I'll see you in the next video bye